That was way too easy. You know what, it's time for the warm-up now. What's your warm-up, bad parent Eric? Throwing the same insults. Trust me, we've got new insults. Yeah, like what? You're a pervert. You like to scare people with your roar while they're in the bathroom. What? I don't do it very often. Well, what about last week when you snuck up on Butters? Well, I just wanted to scare you. That wasn't me being a pervert. You are a heartless monster. You caused the entirety of Tyson Land to fall under slavery. Yeah, I agree with Mac. You know what, Mac, Eric, Butters? Please listen to my apology. Never. Mac is right, you know. Besides, every story that comes out of your mouth is fake. I'm not buying it. Trust me. This apology and story I'm about to tell you is 100% real. Yeah, really? I doubt it. Yeah, really. I'm about to tell you the story of why I hate you guys. So, I was at my old office on the weekend of April 14, 2006. The Wild was just released on that weekend. We watched it like eight times in theaters in those days alone. But then, the weekend ended and final performances were here. Are you serious? The Wild only got number four on the entire box office weekend. And a 22% on Rotten Tomatoes. I need to get to the bottom of this. It was hated first sight. Why are these stupid shows getting popular and praise and not the wild? Hey gang, come here. What is it, Samson? I saw the wild getting number 4 of the weekend and getting 22% on Rotten Tomatoes and Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends getting popular and praise. So let's go over there and scare them and make them watch the wild in theaters. Good idea, Samson. Let's go. Alright, let's roll. How dare you try to steal my popularity? That's it. You need to watch The Wild in theaters. Then The Wild came out on DVD and you guys hated it. No, no, no. You didn't just throw that DVD in the garbage. And I've been watching you through my computer ever since. What? You've been watching us for the past 12 and a half years? You creep- Oh, and David. I hit you back because you hate me. And you live right next to them now. That's not the reason to hate us. Apology denied. Please, you gotta understand us. There are people who like the wild. The 19% on Rotten Tomatoes are the 19% of people who liked it. But still, 19% is still enough. Even the chore got before she betrayed me and went for you, liked the wild so much she made wild at 1.0. And then we dropped the gun and you made wild at 2.0 with it. Yep, that's right. But you gotta undo your crime, or else you're gonna get wanted. Wait, really? You're gonna undo this? Or are you just lying again? Yes. I am really gonna undo my crime and cure Wild Actus 2.0 with you. I don't wanna be known as the line who ruined Tysonland. Oh thank you, Samson. You really are a hero. You're welcome, fat guy french fry. Now we're gonna get the Wild Actus 2.0 cure guns for you. Okay, Samson. You actually told the truth this time? After Samson got the guns. Okay, we got them. Let me tell you our plan to cure this. Okay, Samson. So, we'll give you our four guns. You ride in your vehicle shooting your guns while me, Bridget, and Larry ride in the Samson tank with the ammo, replaced with a cure. Is that okay with you? Yes, that will be okay. Good. I'll see you soon. I hope we can also bring back Benny with this plan. Okay guys, are we ready to do this now? Coco. After they cured everyone in Tyson Land. Samson, we have something to tell you. What? Thank you so much for helping us cure everyone in Tyson Land. This place really needed it. You're welcome. Also, do I feel something? Actually, now that I think about it, I feel it too. Oh, Benny. Nigel. You're back. Samson, I swear I had the craziest dream last night that an eight-year-old pushed me into the acid. Sadly, that wasn't a dream. You got pushed there and came back to life. Thankfully the eight-year-old and his friends warmed up to us. Yeah, I can see it. 
I'm looking at them and they're not angry at us. Yes, I'm not mad at you anymore. In fact, would we want to be? Allies? Yes, of course. Thank you for believing my story for once. You're welcome, Samson. Anyways, for leaving now, we already did our mission. And hey, Frankie. What is it, Wyson? Will it be okay if I ride Dot's bus home? Of course it will be okay to ride her bus home. Make sure she knows where home is. Of course I'll let her know, Frankie. Anyways, we're leaving now. Goodbye, Samson. Bye, David. Bye, Frankie. I hope you have a safe drive back. And that was the story of Wild Ditus. The End.